Hi, everyone. Um, if you want to innovate well, I say get yourself in amongst some good people, people who will be useful, they'll listen to you, they'll challenge you, and they'll be honest with you because they want you to succeed. It's my belief that, in, that your network is your most important asset in business, in creativity, in innovation, and in life. Today, I'll explain a little bit about why I think that is, um, what you can do about it, and how you can go about getting a good, trusted network. Uh, firstly, a little bit about me. I work for a company called Pembridge, and um, it was in November 2011 I started working for them. It was very exciting because it was all about the business of business and, and helping entrepreneurs and startup companies. Um, but it was also very daunting because uh, I felt that it was, a, it was a, new, a new thing for me because I'd worked for banks and corporates and boring places like that. Um, and this was now new and exciting, um, but I felt like I knew no one and, and knew nothing. Um, but I just had to get on and do it. And a few months later, I noticed that uh, Y Combinator were going to New York, which was quite unusual for them. Why were they going to go there? Um, it was just a few weeks before their next deadline, which I thought they must be scouting out for people to, to, to invest in. Um, so I wondered, should they come to London? Uh, I thought they should. So um, I bought a domain called uh, YCLDN for Y Combinator London as opposed to YCNYC and uh, thought, why not? Um, I threw it up on a Saturday night and on a Friday night and stayed up until 3 a.m. On, on the Saturday morning chatting to people on Twitter about it, asking if people wanted Y Combinator to come to London. It was a resounding yes. So once I had that, I had to figure out how to go about and do it. So I went and tried to get in touch with uh, Y Combinator. Paul Graham said he didn't want to do it and couldn't even if there was, there was time. Um, but thankfully enough, Harj Tagar, one of the other partners emailed me back, said he liked the idea and uh, wanted to do something about it. So in the space of about five weeks with some terrific people, uh, we put together YC London. Um, over 500 people came along to the, to the Hacker News uh, meetup that was there. It was packed out and we had, to, we had to be kicked out at the end because the Q&A was going on for so long. And that really for me was the, was the catalyst of getting, getting a good idea, getting some good people together and, and making something happen. Um, I went on to found uh, nine others, which is in the top right there, and basically that's just getting ten people together, yourself and nine others, to go out for dinner and bounce around some business ideas um, and, and, and meet some interesting people. And then as Ahmed said, I've also done Student Upstarts, which is for students to uh, start their business. We invest money, so if any students want to start a business, come and see me. Uh, quick plug. Um, and also another one called um, Collider, which is B2B, beta brand software. Um, I also work at UCL and Minibar, which is one of the largest networking groups in London. So in these photos, um, you'll see the same person again and again, the same people, it's myself and Katie, my co-founder. Um, we love good food and we like meeting good people, so we created nine others. Um, we're all connected online, but we wanted to get together with good people and there's nothing like sitting around a table with some great entrepreneurs to talk about the business of business. We've done 49 dinners now across 10 cities, but I've only ever been to the London ones. And on the, the, the second down on the left-hand side, there's Matt, he's in Berlin. I've never been to Berlin, I've never met Matt. But it just shows that if you can um, get some good people around you, they'll do some amazing things. And that's the power of a good, trusted network. Um, it's, it, it's, it's inspiring, it's challenging, it can be rather depressing because you get quite envious of some people's achievements, um, but you'll get much more done with all these people than you ever would alone. Um, as I said, I believe network, your network is your greatest asset. Um, you, can, you can achieve far more with a group of trusted, good people. This is Coco Di Mama. It's a terrific coffee shop on Fleet Street. Um, I went there one morning after I was at the pub around the corner the night before because Dan, one of the co-founders of Coco, was handing out leftover sandwiches to people in the pub. I thought it was a great idea. Had a good chat with Dan and uh, ended up going to his coffee shop the next morning for a coffee, and it's, and it's great. Um, now, over the next few days, sitting in Coco Di Mama each morning, um, I was plotting with Katie, my co-founder, as to whether we could do a small curated dinner event for, for entrepreneurs. And we ran it past Dan, who started this. 
um, secretly hoping he'd agree to host it in his coffee shop. Um, anyway, he thought it was a bad idea um, because at the end of a long day for him, that starts at 4 a.m., he doesn't, he doesn't want to go um, meet other people, he just wants to go, go and get home. Um, so we thought it was a bad idea, but hopefully we thought that maybe Dan's just not one of our early adopters. And once we'd had a few dinners um, under our belt and we kind of figured we knew what we were doing, we invited Dan and he came along and he loved it. And we sat him between, the two people he sat between, one did paperless receipts, which is quite important for a coffee shop where lots of people expense their, their coffees. He's opposite Goldman Sachs, so that happens quite a lot. And then on the other side of him was a guy called Azaf who does um, loyalty card vouchers for, um, for loyalty card stamps for, for coffee shops. And again, we just wanted to be useful. So we, we invited him along, put him next to some good people and hoped it would work out. Uh, this is City Mapper. Um, its founder, Asmat, came to a dinner in October um, and he happened to meet an investor. The investor wasn't particularly looking for a startup to invest in, but he liked Asmat, he liked City Mapper, and along with a couple of other investors, um, he, Asmat secured that investment uh, before Christmas. And the thing is, I found out about it in February the next, the next year, which is fine. Again, it was just to be useful and to show that, to show to you guys that good things happen with, uh, with a good network. Um, another example, this is Phil, um, Phil's company. It's called Meals from Scratch. Um, you, you get all the ingredients freshly chopped and washed and in the right proportions to cook a good meal from scratch. And um, Phil met someone called Kate, who runs a company called Insider Trends at a dinner last week. And uh, now Kate has particular interest in the food industry and trends that are happening there. So uh, Phil is helping out Kate through that. And uh, this one is a charity called Peace Through Prosperity, which is run by a guy called Kubert. Kubert seems to just love what Nine Others does and the connections he can make there. And so much so he took it to Islamabad and Karachi, where this charity runs, and Dubai when he was on business. Um, and each of those places he's inspired someone else to carry on those dinners. Now he's back in London. And uh, Peace Through Prosperity helps uh, street cobblers in Pakistan um, run, he runs mini business courses for them so they can um, improve, their, improve their businesses. And um, now through nine others and the connections he's made, he's connected to Clark's Shoes, CSR department, and they're, and they're doing some good things. And in turn, Kubert, who's built and sold three businesses, is also mentoring uh, a young entrepreneur who needs some help with the, with the hustle of selling, which Kubert is terrific at. And this is a conversation um, on Facebook. Um, I've again, like Berlin, I've never been to Sydney, um, but they had their first meal there uh, last week. And here's Aaron, who's going to go to Singapore and wondered if there'd be a dinner there. And there was, which is great. And this is what gives me the buzz and because I just think it's so useful and so, so interesting. Um, and if, I can be, if we can be, all be mostly useful most of the time, then I believe that good things will happen. Um, I just think everyone is connected. When we're awake, we're online. You just got to have a conversation with, with someone, uh, with the person next to you or some cool looking people on Twitter. There's no hierarchy. It's what you're doing right now, your purpose now. It's not about what you've done in the past or something that you somehow thinks, think you, makes you better. It's what you're doing right now and can it be useful? I believe that's what people trust and respect. There should be no apologies, and by that I mean stand up and be proud of what you are and what you're doing. Um, be judged and don't apologize for that. If you don't like it, then you can change it. Diversify your network, um, again, like coffee shop owners as well as tech startups and investors and charity guys. Um, it's a terrific thing to connect with a good mix of people because business is all about business. Um, but be selective. We're not for everyone and we're not going to be liked or like everyone, and that's just fine. I'm not right for everybody, and I'm comfortable with that. I'll just try to be useful, and um, if it can't happen now, then, then maybe another time. Um, have a conversation and be confident with it. We're all connected, so it's just a case of talking to people. They're just people, um, you know, what's the worst that can happen? I think the old conventions don't apply. Things like dress code, accents, I, you shouldn't <coughs> judge people by these. It doesn't matter. Like being no hierarchy, the relevance of what people wear, I just don't think matters. Integrity counts. If you don't get on with someone, so be it. Um, but
but respect them as much as you want to be respected. And that means networking little and often. I think it's like a language. The more you do it and the more you, do, the more you carry on at it, um, the better it'll be. We're all connected on email, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and they're all great. And that's how the majority of the networking is done. But even if you schedule 15 minute coffees, then that's great. And I think that's very important. And the results will vary. You might not know the outcome, like the investment that I didn't know about for, if, for a few months. Um, the people around you, as we've heard before in this, in this room, they're the movers and shakers. They're going to be the guys that are making amazing things happen. You've got to find others, seek out good people, help them and learn from them. Share a meal, have a drink, just chat, and then see what happens. Focus on the good stuff. It's contagious. I love it. This guy knew what he was talking about. You could be useful, be helpful, and I promise that you'll love it as well. Thank you. <laughs>